Dr. Milam, and today I want to speak to you about a new science, uh, a science of a way to measure the antioxidant power of foods and dietary supplements. Uh, this is a new science. It's uh, also sometimes referred to as ORAC, O-R-A-C, or Oxygen Radical Assorbency Capacity. Uh, you know, historically, we, we all have heard a lot about antioxidants. And we know that antioxidants are very effective against free radicals. And free radicals can be caused from our environment, from smoke, pollution, chemicals. Or those free radicals are also generated as a part of the normal digestive process. So even if you eat a good diet, a healthy diet, part of the byproducts are toxins. And these are referred to as free radicals. And these will attack our cell and they will create aging uh, and tear down the cell and also uh, decrease our energy levels in the body. So this new science developed a few years ago is a way to actually bring some standardization to antioxidant power. Uh, and this is where each product is placed in a test tube with a known solution. It's an analog of vitamin E. So we already know the measurement of power of this solution to uh, absorb or neutralize free radicals or avoid them from being effective in the body. So it's a very unique uh, thing. There's no way you can actually look at the vegetable or look at the plant or whatever and guess in general what the antioxidant capacity will be. You need to test it. So there are many, many products on the market that claim antioxidant power and yet there's no proof that they have antioxidant power. So that's why I like this science of ORAC because it's a way of quantifying and seeing that you're getting a very good product. Uh, when the or, uh, ORAC testing first came about, they were using uh, different foods and they were testing these uh, in the test tube and they were surprised by the reaction of it. Some of the things that we've always been told to eat uh, had very little antioxidant powers and other things would have great antioxidant power. In general, uh, berries and fruits have more antioxidant power uh, or ORAC power than do vegetables. Uh, also, the more colorful the fruit, so if it's a dark, uh, 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 like a, a berry or raspberry or cherry or prune or any of these kinds of things, the dark fruits or the red, deep yellows, purples, they will have higher antioxidant powers. And so when you put this in, you know, normally... We were thinking about before in this science, we were uh, analyzing foods for vitamin A, vitamin C, uh, calcium, other minerals, whatever. And we were getting analyzing all of these components. What you find out through this science is that there is a synergy in nature. So when it puts together all these components, they usually together will have a higher antioxidant power than if you separated each one out individually. So we've embarked on a lot of studies with uh, nutritional supplements and with also with foods and dietary supplements to measure these uh, antioxidant powers. And we've identified uh, like the 20 top fruits and vegetables that people should consume each day. And so you have a measured power. But also your typical antioxidant, whether it's green tea or other forms of antivitamins, should be measured as well and you should have an ORAC value. So nature provided this natural value, but now we have a way to actually standardize it and test it. Research shows that we should be getting roughly about 3,800 to 5,000 ORAC units per day in order to slow or theoretically even have enough capacity to stop the uh, aging process. But if we look at the fruits and vegetables that we're normally consuming, the average American is probably consuming somewhere between 12 and 1800 ORAC units a day. Now we have charts of these, which we can look at in another section, and we can look at, see how you're eating and determine how many units you're actually getting. But what this leaves, the difference between, say, 3800 or 5000 and 12 or 1800, is most people are deficient in at least 3000 or more ORAC units a day. So it's not what you do one day, but it's what you do every day. So today you're deficient, tomorrow you're deficient, end of the week 
uh, if you're 3,000 efficient a day, that's 21,000 for the week. And then you go to the month and you go to the year. And slowly we are breaking down the ability of the body to neutralize these uh, uh, antioxidants, these chemicals and stuff that we have in our food supply. So this is a good science. And if you use it, you can literally help uh, yourself enjoy a higher quality of life and hopefully even a longer life by taking advantage of this science. Now it's possible through this testing you can combine different materials. And what's amazing is that sometimes you can think you can put together the right combination and the auric value actually goes down. You move them around a little bit, the way you combine them, the auric value goes up. So in developing this science, in doing products, uh, I know one time I did 15 or 20 different samples and would find sometimes that just changing a little bit would make the value go down. But then you can increase and increase and increase. And today it's possible to get products that can have as much as 6,000 or more ORAC value in only 5 grams. So it's well within the amount we can consume. The best is going to be with, with fruits. The more fruits you mix together, the higher the value of these uh, ORAC value fruits, the better you're going to be in get, making sure that you have your antioxidants every day. So look for products that have ORAC testing, and I think that you will see within a few days. There's now university studies showing that it's possible to reduce your biological age by as much as 13 and a half years if you use products that have high antioxidant capacity and you can bring down this uh, aging or this advance of aging in the body uh, so you don't have as much free radical damage. So uh, we thank you for listening today. We'll be back again soon.